And how's it going guys, Joshua LeFemme here, live from LA, and I have for you another quick tip within Premiere Pro. I wanna let you guys know that you have so much awesome stuff to look forward to as far as deep tutorials that are gonna go into VFX and a lot of other subjects in the month of October. But for now, we're just gonna cover a quick tip that I think that everyone should know how to do. It's called paste attributes. Basically what we're gonna do is we're going to put a bunch of effects on this clip, whether it be video effects or audio effects, and then I'm gonna show you how instead of having to paste the same effects to every clip that comes after, I can actually take all the effects from this clip and then automatically with one click paste it onto every other clip in front of it. So first things first, I'm gonna color this clip. I shot flat footage, so we'll go into the Lumetri color tab and maybe drop the shadows, drop it all the way down. Let's drop the blacks all the way down. Let's bring the highlights up a little bit and then let's bring some saturation in. That looks adequately good. Cool. Um, so that's in the video. Let's go to, down to the audio now. Let's go over to the effects controls audio. Let's bring the level up to say nine decibels just to make it a little bit louder. Play through it. It sounds great. looks great. But when I go to these other tracks, the audio is down and of course I don't have that color effect, the Lumetri color effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually highlight the clip. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to copy. And then I'm going to highlight all the other clips in front of it. And I'm going to right click on all those clips and then I'm going to go to paste attributes. And then here you can see that I can basically tell which attributes from that first clip I want to paste onto all the other clips. So, you know, I have the option of pasting the motion. Nothing's really changed as far as the motion goes. I haven't changed the scale, the positioning. So I'll leave that checked, but it's not really doing anything. Mm, opacity doesn't really matter, it didn't change anything. I didn't change any of the time remapping, but yes, I did add an effect to it. It's given me the option to add the Lumetri color effect to all the other clips. I changed the volume, that's why it's checked, and I'm gonna leave that checked so that I can have the volume change in all the other clips. I'm now gonna click OK. And look what happened, you can actually see that the volume rose up in all the other clips, and all the other clips have the same color effect from the first clip, pretty cool. So now I'm gonna show you how to remove attributes. So I'm gonna highlight all these clips. That could be any clip or any bunch of clips. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna do remove attributes. And I'm gonna say, okay, which attributes do I wanna remove? Well, um, how about I only wanna remove the color? So everything else is gonna remain the same. I'm leaving the volume, you know, high. Um, I'm, I'm not changing that. So I am just removing the color. So I only want to check and remove attributes, the attribute that I want to remove, which is color. So let's do okay. And as you can see, cool. Everything is now, except the first clip, everything is now um, without the color change effect that I put on. So it's pretty easy. Please use this trick. It's going to save you so much time when you're dealing with timelines that have multiple clips never go and individually add the same effect manually from clip to clip. And that's it guys. Remember that you can get Envato Elements for free for the first month just by clicking on the link in the description. I got two more videos for you to watch. Please make sure to like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. And as always, remember to keep it chill.